Today we're checking out Not Being Straight by JN Animations. Let's dive right on in. Okay, before I even say anything, let's lay out some ground rules. This is probably gonna be the most open I'll ever get about my personal life. I know I've shared tidbits of myself and life through little stories, mm -hmm. but when it comes to personal stuff, I'm very private. Yeah. Because some people just are years. really private. Be talking in very general surface level terms. Sometimes I'm like, uh, I like to, for me to know sometimes share a bit of my public, but possible. not too much. None of your business. Basically, this is something I want to talk about, share, and bring a spotlight to. But at the same time, you get the Cliff Notes version. Yeah. So no trying to assume or guess anything beyond what I'm sharing within this video. At the end of the day, we're all just strangers refusing to... No theorizing. Alright, formalities aside... Let's get into it. I've come to realize that I'm Aero Ace, which stands for Aromantic Asexual. And I know what you're thinking. That's not gay. What the hell is that? And you know what? That is completely fair because I didn't know what that was either. Aromantic and asexual are two different things, and I'm going to break them down to you separately. All right. Starting with aromantic because Cause I know bi, I know homo, I know and hetero. My personal favorite. Someone who's aromantic is defined as I know lesbian. Like, I know all, to know I know a lot of LGBTQ uh, so, like, they might not prides. Develop crushes on people or feel the need to be in a romantic relationship with anyone. Very general terms, but hopefully you kind of get the gist. If not, here's a little story example from me. Growing mm -hmm. up, I never developed crushes on anyone. I remember when I was in fifth grade, kids were talking about their crushes left and right, and it was starting Bowser. To be something I had to experience too. Who, just who was crushing on Bowser? I, I thought that's just what happens. Don't make fun of nine-year-old me. I was a sheep. Anyway, I decided <laughs> I need education to system. That's just what happens to people. I see a bunch I of Pokemon and Mario Kart. Was this random kid in the class who we can call Pikachu? That's not his name. He didn't mean anything to me, and I didn't do anything about this. Crush not gonna like. Uh, say his name at all. I, I get that. It was a canon thing for me to feel up to speed and like I was hitting my normal human emotions quota. But it's funny because on Valentine's Day, you know how in elementary school everyone would bring cheesy Walmart Valentine's cards for everyone in the class? Oh, yeah. Have a box full of candy and hollow emotions from everyone. Oh. Well, my school did that. When I went through my box, I pulled out Pikachu's Valentine and thought to myself, someone who has a crush on someone would keep this. I think so. I put Pikachu's Eat the card. Batman Valentine in my drawer and promptly forgot about it because it meant nothing to me. But hey, Dang. Just what I thought I was supposed to do. Man, I'm so good at this. Mm. Then, like a year or so later, when my mom was going through my room, she pulled out the card and was like, Why do you have this? And I was like, Honestly, I have no idea. Years passed. I entered junior high and thought to myself, yep. All right, this is the time where people start developing crushes and then do something about it. Like, get into relationships or something. So I was, like, preparing mm -hmm. to be interested in people. On the first day of school, I scoped out the room to see if there was anyone like that, that I thought looked like someone like attractive. I could develop a crush on. Mm -hmm. And this was when classes started being divided up into periods, so there were, like, six batches of people I sifted through. But no one caught my eye, and I thought, man, unlucky. Went through the whole school year, next mm. year rolled around, classes changed, I did the same potentials crush scoping again, and the same thing happened. I wasn't drawn to anyone nope. at all. Man. Unlucky again. Every year, I thought something would change, especially going into high school when mm. people started actually hitting puberty and were getting conventionally attractive. But my entire school... I mean, I get really attractive to girls, uh, which I'm pretty sure is like 13 all the time. Years. I wasn't just my girlfriend though single person throughout any of it and what's funny was i was thinking man what's the deal why is no one attractive and i went to a big <laughs> high school there were like three and a half thousand students there surely i'm not the outlier in this formula Sheesh. why are none of you attractive by the time i was going <laughs> to college i really felt like i had to find someone it felt like i was falling behind the curve or if i was gonna find someone it was gonna have to happen now i made a lot of new friends and that's when i thought i developed my first genuine crush long story short in hindsight no it wasn't a crush and i was just wrong. oh 
I just met someone who I thought was cool and funny and had a really strong desire to And just the it was just a friend. Knowing what I do now. Raichu was just a friend. I realized I can get very excited and tunnel vision on people I think are really cool or interesting and kind of obsess over getting to know them or just want to spend a lot of time with them. But whenever I got into those tunnel vision Yeah, moments, just a friend. I sat down and asked myself if I actually wanted to be in a relationship with them and hold hands or cuddle or kiss. The answer was not really, but if they wanted to, I could go along with it. <laughs> Which I do not think is right. I mean, <laughs> in my very old flirt nah. video, which I refuse to rewatch, I think at one point in it, I said something along the lines of, if you're interested in someone, but they just want to be friends, I don't understand why some people can't deal with that. And that was primarily hmm. because I didn't realize there was an emotional difference between a crush or falling in love and just being hey, really yo. friends with someone. Yeah. So, oops, sorry for the bad take, I think. I really just thought having a crush <laughs> a on a prison cell to be their number one best friend. Look, I said don't make fun of me. To me, it used to feel like if I was wanting to become friends with someone to that high of a degree, that would be the next step or justify why I wanted to put this much time, effort, and energy into one person. And it didn't feel right or even fair going through all of this with someone and then tell them they're just a friend. I don't know. It just didn't mm. feel like it made sense, even though I really didn't technically see them in a romantic way. I just didn't understand what was going on, really, or that there was supposed to be real emotions instead of a logical understanding of, of steps and the fact that i was under yeah. the assumption that i was supposed to be interested in people in a romantic way didn't help with anything i always preferred to Damn. be good friends but never felt like i could have that and i worried that if i said no that we would just start drifting apart or I just obviously didn't want yeah you can it's just have friends basically Jaden does not has all been extremely romantically like anyone not understood or defined that's what years. basically what asexual is bi or pan for the longest time because i would think to myself well bi is being interested in both genders i don't really care for either but zero is equal to zero so i guess i'm bi or pan i got math involved if I sometimes i'm think when I was basically i am bi but uh and then pan is supposed to be attracted to anyone mainly because people don't really talk about it or even know what it is or that it's real romance and love is the number one most talked yeah, about topic on the planet too. everything i've been taught or learned through society mm -hmm. is that love and romance is everywhere everyone yeah it is everywhere and it's gonna happen to you just a funny little note yeah there's a point where i was listening to some generic romance song on the radio you know like all of them and i just suddenly thought to myself wait, wait do, people do people actually, actually feel, feel these things, things towards, towards each other, other? Uh, like all these yeah, mushy lyrics are real emotions yeah cuddling and kissing and joking and that's when I sexual I stuff <laughs> different i approached romance under the blanket term yeah, thought of real, sure why not and didn't recognize it was actually a, a feeling which might sound stupid but look i don't know no one presented me with any other options i didn't born attraction if someone ever expressed romantic interest in me i would mentally make a kind of logical list of their pros and cons and the pros and cons of what a relationship would Ooh. look like with them based on what i knew about them as a person i didn't realize there was supposed to be an extra like excited feeling or the fact that you're not supposed to think about it as if it were a business oh, exchange i understand compatibility is a huge important mm -hmm. variable when it comes to sharing a relationship with someone but at the end of the day it's still apparently still a very emotionally driven thing and i literally had mm -hmm. to make that discovery and teach it to myself now i'm gonna talk about being asexual very yeah. carefully and i'm gonna preface it with Let's all just be mature about this, all right? We're all pretending to be adults here. Mm -hmm. I've got my eye on some of you. Oh. Behave. Okay, this is definitely We know what you did. Comfortable personal boundary territory for me, but yeah, I do want to share that I'm asexual too, which is defined as someone who feels little to no intimate attraction to anyone. Look, I know we said we're all adults, but I'm still gonna dance around the vocabulary, all right? Yeah. yeah. There's a difference between romantic and intimate attraction. Little side note, I will say you can experience romantic attraction to someone, but no intimate attraction. Or you can experience intimate attraction, but no romantic attraction. You can be one and not the other. It's not necessarily eh. a package deal. Most people feel both. 
and I do not feel either. Anyway, I have never been magnetic. I'm more romantic than intimate. A person in my entire life and did not realize it was a real thing until very recently. I'm able to identify when someone looks conventionally attractive, like by textbook definition, but I never realized people are genuinely drawn to people they think are attractive. I didn't know that people could just see hmm. someone and be like, wow, they're gorgeous. I would love to get to know that person or maybe <laughs> go on a date with them or whatever else or, people do. Or <laughs> I didn't think it was real. I Sex. Think people were exaggerating or something. I don't know. And I also couldn't believe that some people feel that with multiple people. Or like celebrities. That's which sounds multiple people is a uh, polysexual. It ties back to when I was in school, like looking mm -hmm. around for people to like. It makes sense now that no one caught my eye because that doesn't Revolt happen. Results may I vary by user. Time for 13 years. I feel like such a fool. Now, there's an easy assumption to make about asexual people and mm -hmm. that they all have zero interest in being intimate with anyone at all, which actually isn't true. Some of them are genuinely turned off by it, and some aren't. Some reasons would be that they just don't mind it or they want to make their partner happy or enjoy the emotional closeness of it a million different reasons and a million different people am i sharing what kind of a people i am nope and you don't know me personally enough in the slightest to be able to try and parasocially basically Jaden is not going to show off if i'm just here to say i am this we are moving on. When All right. I stumbled onto the term Arrow Ace and started realizing I fall into that category, it helped me feel much more confident and sure of myself. I've read a lot mm -hmm. about how people say they felt broken or that something was wrong with them, but honestly, uh, I was the complete opposite. Coming from my very biased yeah. perspective, I think Arrow Ace is one of, if not the coolest and most confident orientations out there. Not needing mm. a single gram of romantic. Whoa, the kissing, nice. Anyone is so cool. All you need. Jade and Station, nice. Friends and family too. And birds. The more I came to terms birds. with the fact I'm Arrow Ace, the more empowered and capable I felt. But at the same time, I was also starting to feel more alone and isolated. As cool and amazing and unique and awesome as I think it is, it can be really hard oh. for other people to relate to or even understand. Sure. Everyone else and their orientations are able to bond and relate to the love and romance aspects. And mm -hmm. we're over here like... We don't do that. I don't even know if I'm explaining it very well. It kind of does go against everything everyone's ever been how, taught. About oh, how to kiss, how to do a known relationship. Emotion, which I do think is a bit misleading. A common argument mm. used against the arrow ace orientation is that romance and intimacy is what makes someone oh human. But I mean, hmm. I don't know, lots of birds mate for life, which is a better ratio than people. And all animals <laughs> get frisky. You know, that's just yeah. not extinct. <laughs> It's not an exclusive Getting freaky. Thing. So Getting freaky on a Friday night. It's a, it's Sunday, by the way. Basic empathy. Like, I'm not an emotionalist monster. I can still I love people. Back. I love mm -hmm. my family and, and my pets. Okay, well, just platonically. No, no, no and I would hope that you're the same. Oh. I just don't experience <laughs> romantic love, which, I don't know. I don't think that's harming anyone. Definitely not me. I'm having hmm. the time of my life. I don't think you Hey, uh, did that right terminal here. montage if animation? If you want to be just on your own, I think there's many types of people in relationships that push the boundaries of what a conventional okay, relationship fine. looks like. Telling someone that they need to be in a romantic relationship to be happy and fulfilled is weird yeah Everyone that's forcing them they're not happy they're told relationships take a lot of work and that's just how it goes yeah, you're okay. and that's also weird yeah society's I stupid i also think it's weird that once someone reaches a certain age people inherently start thinking it's really? sad they're not in a romantic relationship yeah, or assume they're lonely and sad all the you know, spongebob really meme sad and lonely just because they're not in a long-term relationship i i don't know i, I don't get it and Bro, I also think no. Rambling. At the end of the day, it's all very complicated to talk about these things, especially because I don't know the feelings I'm supposed to be feeling, let alone talk about. I just know the terms aromantic and asexual are able to articulate things I was subconsciously feeling and thinking before I even realized I was feeling and thinking them. I don't plan on talking about this very much, if at all, ever again. I just want to play my silly little video games, maybe tell <laughs> a story here or there. But I wanted to bring the orientation. I mean, yeah, I want to play games and make videos out there because i thought if i could help more people become more aware of but also i do want to spend time with my girlfriend as well as hell for a while and could have used something like this it's a real thing you don't have to feel any sort of romance or whatever to be considered mm -hmm. a real person 
personally, I think it's really cool and badass. And don't be valid to aromanticism or asexualism. If any of what I said in this video resonated with you to any degree, like I said, this is all oh nice stuff. They're probably nice. much larger spectrums than you'd think, and maybe you fall under I'll some help, umbrella help, category help, help, with help, help, them. I don't know, or not. Either way, this has all mm. been my personal experience with this stuff. Yeah. There's more for me to figure out within it. I'm probably gonna do some research after this video, to be honest. And confusing. Ha ha, awesome. Um, I need... <laughs> Will I be doing any of that with you? No. No way, this is all you get. Hope you can understand even just a little of what I talked about. And like not, she said, it's gonna totally be, it's fine. private, so, I yeah. I hope you can be nice. Mm -hmm. Thanks for listening. I never really intended on making this video because I haven't really felt a stronger. Also, yeah, because it's personal. I, I don't like using this phrase for myself, but but come out. But I I did end up wanting to make the video to make people more aware of this stuff because I think it's important. And I mean, I'm, has to. even though she doesn't use it, but uh, right now. <laughs> I'm glad she does. Have, just moving forward. I but guess. seriously, see you later. Later. Bye. <laughs> But seriously, that was really, really good. I'm glad... I know Jaden doesn't like using the word, but I'm glad she came out.